Good morning all. Trust that you are well and that you've had a good week and uh, that you are blessed. And uh, just to remind you and say to you that if there is anything that you do require from the church, um, that you please contact the church office and um, the necessary people will contact you and uh, will give you advice and also assistance wherever you might need. Please don't hesitate to call. Um, there are people who would love to assist and to be there for you in your time of need, um, whatever that might be. So please don't hesitate to call. Um, I'd really pray that you are that you have very really had a good week and that you are blessed. And um, I just uh, pray that uh, this time as we share together this morning would be just a time of of being able to draw near to God, just to be able to come and sit at the feet of the Lord and and just uh, and sense and feel His presence as we begin this day. But before we do continue, let us just come before the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious Lord and Heavenly Father. As we begin this new day, we come before you and we pray and we ask you, Lord, that you would be with us, that you would hold us in your hands. Father, we thank you for the good night's rest. We thank you for the blessings of being able to just restore our bodies and to, to just be prepared for the new day. Father, we ask you that as we, we now this, spend this time with you, that you would bless us and be with us, that you would hold us in your hands and keep us close to you. Father, we pray for your blessings and yeah, just your spirit to fill us now and to allow us to hear your word, and to take it to heart. Father, we pray and we ask this in your mighty and glorious name. Amen. The portion of scripture I'd like to share with you this morning is that well-known scripture from Romans 8 verse 31. If God is for you, who can be against you? Romans 8 verse 31. Here, Romans 8 verse 31 contains a powerful rhetorical question. And I would encourage you to memorize it if you haven't done that already. You see, unfortunately, there are still some believers today wondering, is God really for me? What I'd like to say to you this morning is that the word of God does not say, maybe God is for us, or hopefully God is for us. It simply says, if God is for us, who can be against us? Indeed, when God is for us, what opposition can succeed against us? When God himself fights for us, defends us and vindicates us, what adversary or adversity can stand against us? There are none. Hallelujah and praise God for that. You see, God is for us today because of the blood of the perfect Lamb, Jesus Christ. But you may ask, why would God want to be on my side? And that is a good question. But let me tell you why God wants to be on our side. You see, the answer is found at the cross. The blood that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, shed on the cross put God on our side. Today, God can be for us even when we fail. Because Jesus' blood has washed us whiter than snow. Have you, I wonder if um, any, any of you have seen the Cecil DeMille uh, movie, um, The Ten Commandments, or the animated um, Prince of Egypt? And do you remember what happened on the night of the Passover? The children of Israel put the blood of the lamb on the doorposts. And what did the blood do? The blood put God on their side. None of the families who had applied blood to their doorposts had to fear the death of their firstborn children. Now think about this for a moment. Were the firstborn children of Israel spared that night because of their perfect behavior and conduct? Or were they spared because of the blood of the Lamb? Of course, it was because of the blood of the Lamb. In the same way, God does not bless us as believers based on our perfect behavior or conduct. He's for us today because of the blood of the perfect lamb, Jesus Christ. That is why as believers today, we don't have to fight for ourselves. We don't have to be concerned that we have no one to look after us. God is for us. Who can come against us? You see, we need, we need to always remember that God is on our side today because of Jesus' blood. His holiness and righteousness 
that men are afraid of are now on our side because of Jesus' blood. His grace, His love is on our side and all of heaven's resources are ours because of Jesus' blood. Now who can come against us? No illness, no disease, no evil accusation, no gossip, no weapon formed against us can come against us if God is for us. If God is for us, who can be against us? Amen. Let us pray. Father, I thank you that you are on my side. And you are for me today because of the blood that Jesus shed for me. Your holiness, your righteousness and your grace are on my side. And all of heaven's resources are mine, not because of my goodness, but because of Jesus' blood alone. Help me remember that because his blood avails for me forever, you are forever with me. And because of that, I have nothing to fear. Father, we thank you and we praise you that we can know that you are for us, that you are with us, that you guide us, that you hold us in your hands, and that you love us each day. We praise you and we give you all honor and glory, and we pray this all in your mighty and glorious name. Amen. Folks, wishing you a, a wonderful, wonderful day ahead. May it be a blessed day for you. And may you be forever conscious and forever know that if God is for us, who can be against us? Blessings to you all. Bye. Sing with me. And can it be? And can it be? Long